asking us about dynasties. Four minutes. And after that, after this, I have to poop. Hello and welcome, everybody. You I guys know I love roleplay and dynasties are very, very important about that. Who is this content creator now? Okay, Paradox. Okay, I thought... It seems like they always give stuff to content creators. I'm a proper variant and you might know me from my grand strategy channel oh, no, here on YouTube. Variant, yeah. I'm collaborating okay. with Paradox Interactive to bring you a series of tutorial videos about Crusader Kings 3. In this video, I want Olu to is a thing now. Oh, cool. I used to live in Olu for one month. Now Olu is a thing in Finland. On how you I remember when CK2 just released, I played Finland all day. All day long. They were, they were my... I know Ireland is kind of tutorial island, but for me, Finland was my tutorial. You can build and lead your dynasty to greatness. Half a century ago, Charlemagne's empire ruled over Western Europe, but it has since been split into East Francia, Lotharingia, Italy, and West Francia, all ruled by members of the Carling dynasty. West Francia is under the control of Charles the Bold, and he will serve as our example for this video. I'll be telling you about marriages and alliances, prestige and fame, cadet branches, and last but not least, renown and legacies. Did you watch Let's kick it off by it talking off. about marriages and alliances. Okay, let's marriages listen. in this let's time listen. period are very rarely motivated let's by listen. love. You will mostly be looking for marriages to bind your fate to other powerful families. It is important to note that commonly the children of a marriage will belong to the father's house and dynasty. This is reversed if both traits. sides agree so to a matrilineal marriage. The most direct benefit of marriages, besides the children stemming from it, are alliances. Both the spouses as well Fuck as the- that! If you're not one thing on Tommy's channels, you marry for genetics, okay? Genetics. That's what you marry for. Will become allied, kill all the others. Which is how you will acquire most of your alliances. Usually this means that both sides will aid one another in war, but it can also oh, have other I benefits. I cannot wait to play this. Child I love I love the fact that... Let me show you. you see the map? This is like early game, right? There's just a little shit castle there. But as you grow, there will be a church here. And this is turning into stone. And it's all getting more beautiful. Both sides will aid one another in war, but it can cool. also have other there's benefits. There's bridges now, as you see. There's Charles bridges the Bold now. has married nice. his daughter Judith to the Duke of Flanders. For the moment, it means that the Duke of Flanders will never join a faction against Charles, no matter how much the mood has soured. Hmm. Charles needs his own kingdom to stay at peace, since he plans to go to war over the rest of the Carolingian Empire. Now that you know how to... It's a perfect fit. It looks great with good quality. You exceeded expectations. Hey, thank you. Notice me, Senpai. Thank you and shout out to everyone who got a t-shirt. I hope you like the t-shirt. If you have anything to criticize about the t-shirt, go fuck yourself. I'm just kidding. Please text me. I want to learn. I want to become a very good t-shirt maker. Thank you for uh, trusting in me and have fun with the shirts, guys. Tell me what you think about them in Discord. Keep your dynasty going. Let's take a look at prestige okay, and fame. This is, this is stuff that's really important to me. That's what I give a shit about in CK3. Which measure the success of your character. I just Prestigious want to have my character to have a story, man. Accumulated over time based on your actions, the titles you hold, and your personality. So this is, yeah, prestige. Impatient gives him plus 20%. How fucking broken is that? You can use prestige in many different ways. If you were to press Charles' claims to the rest of the Empire, you would have to expend some of... Oh, wait, what? Ah, declare- Oh, I thought- I thought Prestige gives me claims, but no. He's declaring war with Prestige. Oh, I thought I get a claim of Prestige. Your Prestige, for example. Whether you spend it or not, every bit of Prestige you accumulate counts towards your level of fame. The higher it is that- Where is fame? Sorry. A character's level of fame measures their general reputation and how well perceived they are by everyone. Each time a character gains Prestige, they also progress towards the next level of fame. The levels are established, distinguished, illustrious, excelled in the moment, the living legend. Oh, cool, man. I want to play Sparta on release day now. I don't know, man. Fuck, there's so much to do, dude. Sorry, I'm really excited. The man. higher will people think of you. This, of course, makes ruling significantly easier. Be careful about your own reputation. If you act dishonorably, for example, by breaking a truce, your hard-earned fame will melt away like snow in summer, oh. and people will begin looking at you differently. It is an entire level of fame if you do bad Prestige shit. and fame make for a good measure of how well an individual character is doing, but what truly matters in Crusader Kings 3 is the family. Let's continue by talking about cadet branches. A dynasty is a group of nobles that all trace their lineage back to one common ancestor. With time, as the dynasty grows, ruler- This is important. Oh, where's the change button? As I said, there is no rule designer, I get it, but you click on your house and there should be a way to change your house. I don't see a button here. I hope if you click this button, you can change your house name. Oh, if I can't make my own name, that's gonna really, that's gonna suck, man. You can even make a house motto. Oh, Jesus. King Houseboat, blah, blah, blah. Reputation, Dynasty Tree. Open Legacies, it's probably Bloodlines. I don't see a button where I can rename it. Probably you can just click on it. 
It was not a seek. No, no, no. I cannot make my own dynasty on release. I don't, you guys are wrong. You don't know that. You don't know that. I might just be able to click house calling up here and rename it. And then I click here and get a new flag. Maybe I'm just fucking dreaming. Rulers that want more power within the dynasty might found their own branches. Wait, 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 wait. What? It may be time for my family to abandon the legacy of house calling. Wait. Wait, can I make my own family? It might be time for my family to abandon the legacy of house calling and carve its own path in history with me as the head of this new branch. Oh. Maybe at least I can make a branch. We are still connected to someone, but yeah. It needs to allow that. You are not third or closer in the line of succession. None of your ancestors belong to your current house. Blah, blah, blah. Holy order. Concentrate bloodlines. So you can do just bloodlines. Found a university. Invite knights. Blah, 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 blah. So at least we could maybe make a that branch and hopefully can name it ourselves. These branches are also called houses and they still belong to the same dynasty. Founding a new house, however, brings more independence, more direct uh, power over say. house members, and I it hope comes you can with the name opportunity to rise up to be recognized as the new dynasty head. I hope Becoming you can name and remaining yourself, the dynasty man. head requires you to be the most powerful head of a house inside of your dynasty. Let's take a look at why being the dynasty head is absolutely amazing. You can name amazing. it. How do you know that, Alex? Renowned legacies are the next and last topic, and they measure the success of your dynasty as a whole. Renown increases over time based on the current titles family members hold and the renown total- Renown is much like prestige but shared by an entire dynasty. A dynasty gains renown for the following ring, for the following. The number of currently Very living turkey, members. Tommy, I like that because you know me, I always start with one single guy and then we slowly build up. So this will be a slowly building us up. Um, thank you, Spooky Book Took. Uh, the number of rulers, the numbers of spell, blah, blah, blah. As, <coughs> As with prestige, renown also counts towards increasing your level of splendor. Renown can be spent by the dynasty's head in order to unlock dynasty legacies and influence the members of the dynasty in various ways. ...number of living dynasty members. It is a powerful boon that the dynasty's head can spend on influencing their family directly or... Yo, What the fuck? All members of the calling dynasty gain the benefit of these dynasty legacies. You as the head can spend renown to unlock legacies. Thank you, Miko, man. Thank you. Out. Thank you for the tier two, man. Out. Um. What the fuck, man? So I have one thousand renown, and I click on House of Warriors. I probably get a warfare bonus, like plus one martial or something. Law, Guil, erudition, kin, glory. So there's like a skill tree for your family in a way. That's cool. By investing it in legacies. That's like legacies give permanent bonuses to your oh, dynasty. Oh, the bonus? Wait, wait, he's showing the bonus. Family directly, wait, wait, wait. or by investing it in legacies. Legacies give... Chance of inheriting good trade, plus 30%. Chance of a new good trade, plus 30 Permanent bonuses. Chance of reinforcing congenital traits, plus 30 ...to your dynasty and reflect the hit. Chance of inheriting bad traits, minus 30 blah, blah, blah. History of your ancestors. Select a congenital trait to become more common in the dynasty. Oh, I can like choose to have more geniuses or something. The choice between it. Plus five years life expectancy. That's that's amazing. Influencing your dynasty directly or bureaucrat base progress and council skill impact on council tasks. Plus or 10. via legacies can be a t righteousness plus ten general Tough opinion one. forever. Since they Graceful aging, no prowess lost from age, increased skills with age. Oof. Both require renown. Broken. Every acute. Close bonds, plus five dynasty opinion, personal schemes, succession, plus 40% against dynasty. Related point of renown also earns your dynasty splendor. Clergy option, which plus widens five. the range of resources and options your family has. A well respected dynasty will, for example, have oh, it easier to keep so a realm bad. under control, even in oh, hard times. Poop. The more your family grows, the more all of you will benefit from your dynasty. God, this game is going to be amazing. However, it will also I will become play more likely that all day. infighting will become a common I think I still need a warm up game. I, I don't want to overplay you CK3. Will be able to guide your family like two hours of Horizon Zero Dawn or whatever. Play your cards and wrong, then six hours and your dynasty of CK3. Will be lost in history. I don't want to overplay. Thank you for tuning into today's CK3 tutorial about dynasties. Very interesting. Next very, very interesting.